Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So it is a Monday today and Mondays for me are actually not that busy and I really appreciate my free Mondays because I have very busy weekends usually or I don't really have a weekend if you want to think of it like that. So I am glad that I have a free day on Monday with not that many contact hours. So yes, we've already started studying apparently. We are doing our teeth and I just decided that morning to read some lecture notes and these were the notes that we were going to be following that day in the lecture that I had at 12 but in the morning I had a few hours to myself so I decided actually to do it on camera to physically make myself do it because it is something that I am not a great fan of if I am totally honest with you and let's be real who really changes their bed sheets every so many weeks as it is suggested don't like doing this one. Okay, so after doing all that stuff in the morning and getting some reading done, whilst I was getting dressed, doing my teeth, etc., um, I sat down at my desk and I got out my diary as usual. And because it's a Monday, I thought I needed to fill out my diary for that whole week so that I could plan what I was gonna do and I knew where I was going to be at certain times and then I could plan my work around that. I then moved on to my to-do list, which I separated today into things that were work-related and those other things that are either to do with admin or going to the shops, buying food, replying to emails, stuff like that. So I managed to cross a load of stuff off my other to-do list, which I was using the last week, and that felt super good. I then went straight onto my MacBook and did some emails, filled in my to-do list a bit further because I had essays that had just been set via email. And and I'm not gonna lie, that leads me quite nicely onto the question or topic that I wanted to talk about today. And yes, that is about essays and how many I tend to write a week. So as you guys know, I am a science student. I study biology basically. And even though science at school does not seem like a very essay-based subject, for biology in particular, it is very heavily essay based especially when you get to university so it is written you do some calculations you do some maths but it is predominantly a written subject so it is quite difficult for me to say how many essays i write every week because it does vary and it does depend on what my supervisor has set and it depends on the module basically because i do three in my second year now but as i am doing a biology of disease essay at the moment as you are watching this I thought I'd start with that module so my supervisor for this does normally set some essays so this was the third essay that I have written this term for biology of disease we had been set to write an essay by our supervisor but I decided to write two based on the bacteriology lectures that we had just so that I could get a bit more practice and then this essay was about parasites the module that we had just been studying in the lectures at the moment so we have been set some other work in addition to doing essays so that's included some multiple choice questions if you've seen my videos you will know that I love them um, so yes, I have done three essays and we are currently in around week five, so it's not one essay a week. So I wrote about half that essay before I went and decided that I was too hungry to do any more and made some breakfast and checked my phone. That's so cute of Milka at home in our cupboard with all the bananas. And mum was like, Milka guarding our banana station. Look at my banana station. Oh, it's literally non-existent. There's two bananas and the station is currently being taken over by these chocolate things that I got from the QTAS committee the other day after the show. I need Milka with me here to guard my banana station because someone's clearly been taking them all. So I then made myself some breakfast and got back to writing my essay. Then moving on to the other two modules that I do this year because I do three all together. I have written for cell and developmental biology, I've written three essays so far for that module and our supervisor 
for CDB is very, very organized and she sets essays every other week. So in a term, which lasts eight weeks, we will write a total of four essays and those get set on a regular basis. We have a regular hand in date, Monday, 5 p.m. So I know exactly how those supervisions are structured. And then finally for my neurobiology module, our supervisor is super, super relaxed. He does not set any essays at all. We decide when we want to write essays. If we've enjoyed a certain topic and we think we're gonna write an essay on it in the exam, then we can write an essay and hand it in and get feedback. And I have actually written three essays, I think, for that module as well. These are the results of the interaction of host and pathogenic factors. And this ensues both directly and choose both directly and then I thought you'd like to hear me mumbling away and chattering to myself, reading over my essay which I just finished and was just checking through, adding in some extra bits in a different coloured pen. I basically then had finished that essay, I stapled it together, wrote my name on the top, put it back in my folder ready to be taken to our next supervision and I crossed off my to-do list. Oh my goodness, yes, that is literally the best Thing to do. I then did some other minor little admin things on my to-do list and crossed those off as well. So, you know, we were powering through the to-do list today. So we had headshots for Varsity when we're competing against Oxford. I want to show you. Oh gosh, that is attached. Do not pull the MacBook, it is attached. I think they look very Twilight themed. Um, the way they've been edited, it's really weird. My headshot. <laughs> I look so... Scary. Yes, I will be there, Oxford. Holly's coming for you with the eyebrow look. Yeah, cheeky little eyebrow we did. I was a very big fan of Twilight when it came out and it was like a big thing. I loved it. So my younger self would be very happy with the editing of those pictures because they do look really like Twilight themed. It's really scary. So my very one and only hour of contact time today was at 12. I had a biology of disease lecture and we've just started a new topic about atherosclerosis and heart disease and stuff and oh my goodness guys look at this i was sitting next to beth today and she has this amazing pencil case it is like a fluffy banana pencil case everyone say hello to beth by the way look there she is but that banana pencil case i am in love with i think it's so amazing um i then shuffled along the bench a bit as you saw because somebody came and sat next to me um just as the lecture had started which was a bit of a disruption but oh well we got back to looking at the notes underlining the stuff as i do adding some extra things that the lecturer was mentioning trying to make sure that i could understand everything i then got back to my room and i felt that i needed to do some folder organization just to clear up my workspace and to stop my folders overflowing because at this point they were bulging some of them so you're in for a treat today guys because i decided to make pancakes and last week it was pancake day but i was very busy and i didn't have time to make them so i thought i would do it um, as a delayed little celebration or whatever you want to call it so is everybody ready for the first flip three two oh and yes i'm not so impressive it was burnt first one always goes wrong okay let's see what this one's like hopefully this this one's probably burnt on the bottom as well already oh darn it got two burnt ones not so bad on the other side these are honestly the best and easiest pancakes ever please please try them no 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 stop kissing Okay, so despite this one being a very weird shape, here we go. Let's see if we burnt this one. Right. Are you ready? Oh, that's the colour we're looking for. That is a good colour. We've got the temperature right now. So somewhere on the screen now, I'm going to leave a link to the video where I have the full description and the full method of how you can do it yourselves. And it's also going to be in the description box down below. So I just want to flip this last one because, you know, why not? It's a bit dodgy this one anyway. Oh, no. We need to actually flip it. Woo! Oh yes. Woo! <laughs> Boy. Boy. Yep. Mm. 
Okay, so I got very into flipping my pancakes then, but I decided not to take it too far just in case I lost that final pancake. I then made this like berry sauce thing to go on them, which I think just adds a finishing touch as well as my fruit, my berries, my chia seeds, coconut shreds, cacao nibs and here we are people, the finished product. Without a doubt this was the best thing that I'd done that day. It was the highlight of my Monday and the best way to start your week with pancakes. I would literally eat these things every day, I'd forgotten how good they taste but yeah as I said check out the video and make them yourself because you will love them I can assure you. But whilst I was eating those um, I did decide to read this article that I was going to get some information from for my next essay which I then started on after lunch. So this time I was just starting from scratch and writing notes. This essay, in contrast to the one that I had written in the morning, was for neurobiology and it was specifically about development of the neural system, which I really enjoyed. So I thought that I would write an essay on it and it is quite likely that I would do so in the exam in summer. So as I said before, this essay had not been set by my supervisor, but I had taken it upon myself to write this essay and hand it in because I enjoyed the lecture series. So I just finished this essay. I am now going to head down to the gym today, I think. Um, I've written two essays today, which is pretty good. Yep, so I did feel really productive today because I completed two essays. I then, quickly before I went to the gym, I just replied to some YouTube comments because one of my vlogs had just gone live the day before and I hadn't had a chance to read any of those comments and reply to some of your messages. So I just quickly did that and then I got changed to the gym and headed down for a bit of a breather and a break from work, which I do every day. I do not work continuously each day. I always take breaks. Like for example, today I took a bit longer making my lunch, making some pancakes, which was totally okay and it's totally fine to do that. And yes, this is me on the cross trainer trying to say hello to you guys. And also today I went to the gym because I think that it's very important that you move your body and you exercise in different ways. Not only should you be stimulating your brain, but also your muscles. And it releases lots of endorphins to make you feel good. Like this is me pretending that I'm flying on the cross trainer when I just lift one leg off and I literally think it's so fun. So following my little gym session, I came back to my room and I read through the practical notes quickly because the next day we were going to have a practical and often I find it useful to have read what we're going to do beforehand so that I have some idea of what's going to be going on. I then made my dinner as you can see I've got that on my desk and then I started to plan a third essay which I didn't actually write today but I just got a detailed plan done so that I could start on it straight away the next day and this one was for my third module cell and developmental biology so today I had done a good balance of work from each of my modules so just going back to the question as to how many essays I do write a week I can't give you a definite answer to that question because as I said it varies and it just depends on what's been set and also the amount of work that I want to do. But it's also quite good to keep in mind that not only am I here at Cambridge writing essays, but I also get other work set by my supervisors. I have to make sure that I am keeping up to date with the lecture notes, looking ahead at what we're gonna do in practicals, making sure that I'm understanding everything. So yes, there is a lot more to do other than just write essays is basically what I'm trying to say. Anyway, the final thing I did this evening because I didn't just plan the essay, I also wrote up some lecture notes and I know that this is a very highly requested video as to how I make my notes and especially how I do it with plain paper without any lines because I think that's quite unusual. But I will be doing that video definitely at some point very soon so please like this video if you enjoyed it but also like this video if you would like to see one about how I wrote my notes and also because I've talked a lot about essays in this one I suppose that I should do one about how I write my essays as well how I go about planning them and writing them so yes that finished my day of studying I basically got into the bed which I had made I was very proud of myself and yes, I will speak to you in my next video, guys. If you are new around here and you've stayed to the end, then you may as well subscribe. And also, as I've said, please like this video. I know you guys love study with me, so 
please hit that thumbs up and I will speak to you in my next video guys. Have an amazing rest of the week and I'll see you all very soon.